Hello, Joel Wallace here. I've got something really cool to show you that could really help out your productions when using the Blackmagic ATEM Mini and the Mimo Live software for Mac. So let's dive in and check this on out. To begin with, I totally know that you can control the ATEM with the Blackmagic's ATEM control software. But I found using Mimo Live with the ATEM controller plugin to actually be pretty helpful and simple for going live and for recording simultaneously. Plus, there's going to be some added benefits I'll show you along the way in this video with some cool features you can do with Mimo Live that really takes your production to the next level. And as always, I'll put the links to these items that we're going to go through in the description for you if you want to check them out. Enough talking, let's check this out. So now I have the Mimo Live software already installed and up and running. And just to kind of give you a little bit of the layout of the land for this software, we'll have our video sources here to the left column. The next column over is going to be our layer stack. That's where our ATEM plugin is going to go. Here in the middle, we have our preview. And it, whenever you have the layer, uh, the layer stack selected, you're going to have your settings here to be able to do control. And then to the right, we have program output. So that's really just kind of the basics here just to get familiar with. So what we'll want to do is we're going to go ahead and add our con ATEM controller. You'll want to go ahead and install that if you haven't already. We're going to need to have that already loaded. So I'm going to double click. Now we have the ATEM controller installed. We'll go ahead and make that live. Now you'll notice down here when we scroll down underneath content, it's currently saying placeholder A. So what we need to do is over in our video sources, we're going to go to the plus symbol and add the video. Then from here, we're going to want to change this over to the black magic. So now we have our ATEM mini. This is our camera, camera two. Then we're going to go over to program and we're going to assign this to camera two. So now I have my shot of my dog behind me. He's sleeping. And now we can go up and still underneath while we're selected on the ATEM controller, we can now switch over to camera one or camera two. Now, for whatever reason, I noticed when I first install this, it doesn't work right out of the gate. So what I recommend doing is we'll go ahead and save this project. And I'm just gonna do test, save this to my desktop. And I'm gonna go ahead and just close the app. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open back up Mimo Live. For whatever reason, sometimes a reset just makes things work. So now I can go in and select camera one. So there I am. There's my wide shot camera up top on input one on my ATEM. And then here's camera two back to the dog sleeping. Cool little feature here, we can record our shortcut. So if we select that, it turns red. I can hit one and then go down to the next one. I can hit two and so forth down the line. So now I can do hotkeys. So when I press one on the keyboard, now it's going to switch between the two cameras. So there's two and then back to one. Really cool feature there. Now, if you want to get a little fancy, you can add graphics. So we can put in lower third and we'll double click. And then now we have our lower third and we can go in and we're going to adjust the title. So we'll say Joel Wallace and then Mimo live user. That's fine. And then if we want to go ahead and take it, we just hit the live button and then boom. There it is up on program. And then we can set delays or timers to have it fade out however we want to go with that. So now we can have a shortcut. So now we can go in and say on the layer, we can record a shortcut. I'm going to do L for lower third. So now whenever I hit L, it's going to take the lower third. And if I want to remove it, I can hit L again and it'll go away. Or you can set it up on the timer and then it'll automatically go for five seconds or however long you want the lower third or graphic to go. So that's a pretty cool feature, just you know, all within Mimo Live while taking advantage of your ATEM. Now, a really awesome feature that I really like is say I want to use my cell phone. You know, I want to have this as an additional camera, but I don't want to have it hardwired. 
What we can do is it's called NDI and you need to make sure that your cell phone and the computer you're using with Mimo Live is on the same network. Then you want to go in and you want to download the NDI HX camera app. That's the one that I'm familiar with. I'm sure there's others out there, but for this demonstration, I'm gonna use the NDI HX camera app. So now I have the camera going on the app. And what I can do is go underneath back into my video sources. You're gonna now see that NDI is now able to select and you have to have the app open in order for it to recognize it on the network first. So now we can go in and we're gonna put the camera here and there we go. Now we have my cell phone as a camera and it's pretty cool, it gives me actually red lines around the screen of the phone to let me know that the phone is now on air and if I were to cut away then it's gonna disappear. But So now we have a roaming camera back to the sleeping dog and then here's my other camera set up and then on top of things, now from Mimo Live, you can now connect your Facebook or your YouTube account, go straight from there and go live. You can also record to your computer. So now you can simultaneously stream and record. And the other cool feature is now Mimo Live allows you to use Zoom. So we could use this whole setup in a Zoom meeting now. There's also virtual calls. You could send out a link to um, say someone in a whole nother state or country, they can patch right into your show. Well, that's it for controlling your ATEM Mini with Mimo Live. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments and be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Thank you.